All right, so I finally figured out how to program the Bafang Ultra. Let's take a look and see if we could figure this thing out. The first thing we need to do is find the software download and install it. I just Googled Bafang Ultra Programming. Click the link, I avoid warranties. And after the second image, you'll see a link. Click here to download the program. Download. It'll download a zip folder. Then you'll need to extract the folder. Then once it's extracted, you want to open up the controller ST torque program. So I believe the controller ST is would be for the BBS HD with, with no torque setting. Since this one has a torque sensor, we'll want to use the torque settings. Once you have that open, you'll need to plug in your USB cable into the controller cable on the bike. We'll need to get to the controller cable which connects to the display. Make sure you line up the arrows. then click connect. So you'll need to figure out which COM port you're in. I just use process of elimination. I, I believe three and five and nine are the most common. So I just kept trying one, two, three, and then it turns out three was the one that I was using. And once you have it connected, it'll automatically give you the band rate and then you click read flash, that'll pull up the stock settings. And then when you're finished, you wanna click write flash in order to write the new settings that you chose to the controller. Let's take a look at the programming settings. The first three tabs you could leave, most of them can be controlled through the display. I found no reason to change any of them. The torque tab, we can leave the top part alone and focus only on these six rows right here. The important thing is that we understand the relationships between the start kg, min current, the full kg, max current, and the return kg to the keep current. Each column, speed zero to speed 100, is either one of two things, I'm not entirely sure. It's either the RPMs of the motor that the motor is spinning, or it could be the, um, the speed at which the pedals are spinning, if there's a cadence sensor. I'm not entirely sure, it doesn't really matter. Zero is zero and 100 is, I, I would imagine, the, the maximum um, revolutions. So we just need to understand the relationship where Start kg is the amount of pressure that you are applying to the pedal, which then tells the torque sensor to trigger the minimum current percentage to the motor. So the way that I have these two set is to the starting kg gradually decreases and at the end a couple of zeros so that there doesn't need to be any pressure applied to the pedal in order to get 
the minimum amount of power that we have set here. Same thing goes with the full kg, only that's the maximum. So you also want these to slowly decrease through the matrix. The return kg, I believe, is if you decide to, um, if you're maybe ghost pedaling while you're cruising, or if you decide to stop and coast, stop pedaling and coast for a little bit, and then you want to start pedaling again, that will most likely trigger the return kg, which will then give you the keep current. And the keep current has to be equal or less than the minimum current. So I just set it, I set the keep current to match the minimum current percentage and the maximum current percentage. I want to give me the maximum amount of power that I have the PAS set to. So I have all of these set to 100 across the board. So the reason that I needed to change these settings is that the way that it comes programmed from the factory, I believe they program it for mountain biking because it gives you an initial boost right away. And then you kind of, once you start ghost pedaling a little bit and you're not applying as much pressure to the pedals at speed, it kind of lets up the motor backs down and you're not getting any assist anymore. Then when you start catching up with the speed of the, with the cadence of the bike and you start applying pressure to the kit, to the torque sensor, then suddenly it gives you the boost again. So it's a very inconsistent back and forth motion uh, with the factory stock settings. So what I did here was give it more, give it a more consistent power flow for road commuting and gravel riding. It gives just a really nice, steady, consistent, uh, power flow, a very consistent ride. And of course, once you're finished, make sure you click right flash. This way it'll write the new settings to the motor. Come back. 